Good morning. My name's Toby Murdoch. I'm not a physicist. That was very impressive. I'm an internet guy. Um, and our company's called Grogger. In Grogger, we produce grogs, which are group blogs. Um, and group blogs allow publishers to crowdsource their content. Um, so our customers are publishers, and they wake up every morning and ask themselves, how am I going to grow my audience? And to do that, they want to have the best content and the most content for whatever, whatever topic it is that they're covering. And as they look out across the internet, they're seeing a new trend on the best way, a new formula on how people are doing that. And it's crowdsourcing that content and then curating the content that comes in. There's a number of examples of how people are doing this well. So Facebook and YouTube have shown us how you can convert regular, ordinary users into prolific contributors if you give them the right tools and the right experience for that to happen. Places like Yelp and Foursquare have shown us how you can really motivate these contributors with the right kind of social gaming and social status mechanisms. Um, Dig has shown new ways to filter content for the crowd. The Huffington Post has shown new ways for editors to filter content. And then a number of publishers have taken these best practices and put them together into these crowdsource outlets that have had phenomenal success. So SB Nation in sports, Seeking Alpha in finance, GDGT and you know, the consumer electronics, the list goes on and on. The problem is, however, that those few pioneers I talked to you about have raised millions in venture, which is a good thing, but they've spent that money in building these proprietary systems to, to, to crowdsource content. And they had to do that because the CMS systems that are out there and available operate on an old school model, where you have a discrete number of content producers or editors. They're allowed inside the system, and they can produce the content to the audience who's on the outside and who's asked to just kind of sit there quietly and consume and maybe comment from time to time. And so these systems simply don't allow crowdsourcing to happen. And so what we're providing through Grogs is a platform to allow this new emerging gigantic model to go mass market uh, for lots of publishers. Here's one of our customers who happens to be right here. Uh, David um, has a blog, Spring Stage, or a network of blogs that runs on WordPress right now, and it covers one of his passions, which is different startup communities. So there's Spring Stage Boulder and Austin, Seattle, and around the country. And he's switching it over to our platform because instead of having his 35 different bloggers in the 35 different areas they cover, he's now going to be able to open himself up to these communities and allow the crowd to pump in lots and lots and lots of content, him to filter and manage it all, and have much better content and much more content as a result. So just a quick run through of some of the items here um, that we show relative to a typical CMS. So you'll notice that, I don't see any mouse. You'll notice that when we display content, almost just as prominent is who produced the content. And this is a Yelp best practice, right? If, these people who are contributing, their compensation isn't money necessarily, it's recognition. So you need to make it very clear that you're gonna get recognized if you contribute. You also see the leaderboard on the side, right, where you start to get the competitive juices going with some gaming techniques to get people fighting over the top spots. Um, as you scroll down the page, you'll see an inline publisher, a Facebook best practice which says to the user, hey, we want you to contribute, it's really easy for you to do, do it right here. And then you'll see this set of feeds below that, which is how we begin to filter content. Um, you, you can open yourself up to the crowd, but if everyone can just content, uh, contribute right to the main section, it becomes a train wreck. Our filters, anyone can contribute to the most recent feed, then the crowd starts to consume that, vote it up into the most liked feed, and then ultimately an editor like David, or these guys too, could choose the best of that content and feature it above the fold in these prominent spots such that the crowd's producing in the content and then the output for the majority of your users who are there just to consume is this high quality output of content. Um, there's a lot more detail in it, we can get to that later. Um, how we're going to market, when we look at the market, there's sort of big media at the head of the tail, um, personal publishing uh, at the end of the tail. We're going after that professional blogger segment right in the middle of the tail. It's the future of publishing. It's growing fast. And these people are web native, and they understand our value proposition very clearly, very readily. Um, we go after them with a subscription model where people pay monthly to utilize our platform. Um, that's my partner, Mike, and I. This is our second startup. Our first was Cloud, uh, a social music service that was actually backed by Steve Case, a great person and a great entrepreneur. Um, and we, we enjoyed a successful exit with that, and we're out to our second startup with this one. 